project-wise design review workflows, civil data. This is the first of two videos focused on civil workflows. This first part will focus on the data structure and data management, ensuring it gets into project-wise design review with full fidelity. Data that's produced by Open Roads, Open Rail, and Civil 3D is different to standard CAD data, and we need to ensure it's processed correctly to bring through all the intelligence and information that exists in those native files. The second part will discuss the civil specific tools within Project Wise Design Review that help us to interrogate, check, and review civil designs without waking up your civil designer. If you already have an eye model and you just want to understand how to use the tools in design review, you can skip part one and go straight on to part two. We're making an assumption here that your civil designers follow good practice in their design application and design practices so that the data that we connect to is good quality. The data set I'm using was designed in Open Roads Designer and stored in ProjectWise. It consists of a master container file and its references. In this case, the master container file is also the spatial route where the coordinate system is set. All I mean by that is a file that holds the coordinate system, which the design utilizes. So the master is, is empty, effectively. The design itself is attached as references into that master. For Civil 3D, we follow a very similar process, but obviously we're using data shortcuts instead of references. Just make sure you choose the Civil 3D connector when creating your connection to the DWG. If you're working on a project where you've got a mixture of DGN and DWG, we recommend to keep these separate and process them with their respective connectors. So with an open roads or open rail design in a DGN format, it will be the Bentley Civil connector that we use. And with Civil 3D, we would use the Civil 3D connector. Of course, you can reference DWG into DGN and vice versa to help the design process. But when creating a connection, ensure that you have one connection only for Bentley Civil and another connection only for Civil 3D. This ensures that all the intelligence from the design applications is retained when it's brought into the iModel.